Mr. Dirty Fingers is in the building. What's up with y'all? Um, let's see, I got 49% of the battery. That's cool because I got another battery with me. I got my camera with me. And today I will be doing something I would promise I would do a while back. You put you've probably seen uh 430 uh reviews before, so I won't do a review on well, I can do a review on my, my personal car. And we can pretend like it's something you've never heard of or seen before. But uh, yeah, I'll do a review on the Cedric. And just kind of go over the audio and stuff like that. <sighs> Which is always fun is jumping in this 430. Man, this car is so comfortable, let me tell you. I did adjust my headrest this time. Which that all goes with the uh, memory settings too. It's chilly out here today. 61 degrees on this uh, fantastic fall October day in the Midwest. Uh, exactly, we're in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Fun, fun, fun. But yeah, uh, this is something for people who out there are looking to get into um, uh, right-hand drives. I'll do kind of, uh, I don't know, the, the features and stuff like that. I don't know all the facts about the car. I'm still learning the car because I'm just, you know, taking my time with it. And there's, there's a lot of jdm right hand drive cars i don't get into these cars for the hype this is always something i wanted and it's something that the looks appealed to me so much when i seen this car and i was just discussing this with um with um someone else uh who is actually getting a uh, a white cedric soon too i was watching the street sweeper i was like i don't have anything else. he can come get all this stuff cool so i was discussing uh, with him about the fun and the, and, the, and the hidden features in these cars and like the just the special like when, when the Japanese automakers put that uh, special like sauce on these cars and it wasn't like sauce like it was a fast no it's a VG30 in there mine's in a no turbo he's got the Ultima which is the turbo so he's gonna have a little bit more kick to it um, I'm not sure how much I, I don't know I think it's a single turbo if I'm not mistaken but uh yeah the Ultima is uh, awesome I didn't want the Ultima because eventually I do plan on swapping this uh this this motor but it has a lot of love and a lot of life left in it so I'm not going to touch it right now but like I said I was discussing in the, in the Mustang drive which isn't even up yet I have like right now um, I'm going to slide this one into my videos because right now I have about I schedule mine out so the secret sauce to how I do some of this, I record a bunch of content and I kick it all out. And it's going to be in different order and stuff like that. Now, if I have a a sequence of things like I did with the POV bike ride, I'll put them out and chop them up in threes and put them out as a series. Um, I haven't made really a, a playlist yet. We'll do a fantasy car playlist, a fantasy build playlist where I just like sit and talk about it and, and write down stuff on paper. When, I, when when will I get the first episode of that done? I don't know. It might be after I move. Right now, you're still seeing me in the Midwest with a long sleeve on. So, I'm not in Vegas, baby. But, um, yeah, let's let's uh, shake over here and see uh, the Cedric and take it on the road. And I'll get a place where I can get out of the car and kind of, like, look at it and give you an overview and kind of get inside. This time, hopefully, I will actually even discuss what I have done to the car. If you're getting a right-hand drive, mainly a Cedric or a Gloria Y32 platform, I'll tell you off off the top, the factory auto audio system, if it hasn't been upgraded or touched before it made it over here, is trash. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nissan, but that was boo-boo. It was a 94, so it wasn't high expectations. They didn't really start putting their sauce in the... Um, factory audio until like the late 90s early 2000s they started saucing up with bowls and everything like that or infinity infinity but i don't think um infinity ever used the infinity system in the car it was mainly bowls for a nissan so yeah they didn't really sauce it up so i'm not mad at them because i was going to touch the um audio regardless because i love audio so um i'll discuss i kind of go over um I, here i go with the um stuff i'll kind of go over things and kind of discuss with about what I put into it and what you should expect from the installation and also pick a good audio person if you're not doing it if you're doing it yourself go crazy but for me um I had many different conflicting views on what was going to fit in there and stuff like that I asked different people but they're probably doing it themselves I'm not I didn't have time to do that I was busy doing a bunch of other things so I had them install that stuff for me Woo! give me some light what <laughs> Get my good side with both sides. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Mm, yeah, this is right. And it's, it's still my, uh, 
my dash cam the the uh the lets me see what the cam is seeing is like completely out that's cool i bought it for like 30 dollars on amazon so what was i supposed to expect I'm like oh no it's gonna be it's gonna last forever boy what it broke it's not cheap it's not from china what with the sauce oh my bad i didn't get the good view real quick with the sauce oh see my memory's low good thing i brought that bag oh i said i got 47 minutes worth of memory so good thing i brought my bag with me so i actually have something uh to swap my memory card out with so i'm gonna pop this thing open and get some stuff going i got this gopro all over my face fam totally unnecessary so it is what it is my man a small dog i ain't gonna put him on camera but got the small dog features baby all right so me and the so stuff too but let me just dive in here real quick so the interior of this beautiful Y1994 Y32 when I've added the sauce just a little sauce I'm just kidding and I still don't know if those are real or not so if you know in the comments well, let me know because I don't know and I wasn't going to make an uh, attempt to be like oh, I know all about Junction Produce and Garson and Dad what looks real what's not I'm not that dude I'm not going to do that to you I'm not that guy so let's see what can I explain to you um, the features in here before we get moving and get this thing grooving and started When you do an, um, replace the factory, which is gonna come is gonna be a, a tape unit radio on top There's gonna be a boo CD player on the bottom. It's like, you know It's the weirdest thing ever because it's like two separate slices of units in there and they, they both fill it up But uh, you might need a mounting bracket, which is like ten dollars, but for the most part any double dim this is a um, Just a basic like lower tier pioneer double dim Bam, bolt it right in there. No issues, hooked up. Um, the thing is, you do have to buy an antenna adapter. Um, yeah, let's see. So, right here, this is a little, a little, little compartment, hidden compartment with the control box or whatever. But it's really just, uh, I left that little heart in there. But there's the antenna for the power antenna. So, you can push it right now. It automatically come. It, it automatically extends itself once you turn the car on and have the radio on but you can hit the button here and extend it a little higher i'll show it once I, I get you know get the car moving and out of this garage and stuff like that when we stop somewhere i'll show that he, over here we have a car like back in the day as a business car and stuff like that if you had because these cars are mainly driven by business it's, it's a good car it's executive will be the executive version even though everybody complains it doesn't have leather you gotta remember in japan leather is not a premium um material when it comes to car interiors on it here is where the sauce is also here's where the interior lights are at you can turn those off uh since i have the door open it'll just cut just one side on but if i push the on switch it'll cut them all on including the back little sauce lights and stuff like that the car is well lit on the interior when it needs to be I, I usually cut it off during the day i don't really need it uh power power windows um, as far as the side win uh, windows and this is also how to uh, if you go through the a car wash something you can retract them too i'll once i'm, I'm moving because i don't think they they might go now let's see nope it won't go now so uh if i leave them in that in that position i don't think it bothers anything and the lexus um if you leave them in that mid position and once you take the key out they'll fold in automatically this thing actually for its time uh if you believe it or not it has a it has a power i don't really mess with the power feature because this thing is slow and it has a snow feature as well so you know it's adjust those it's park and brake stuff push the release i don't really use the park and brake i don't park on too many hills i don't take this car oh another thing when you hear when you hear the lady uh tell me to put my my card uh whatever put the funds in the in the car and she's talking to me all sexy she's referring to this little box here the, the etc and I'm I'm never putting my card in there. I don't care how many people they say, oh, on TikTok, how to be uh, setting people up for the L. Like, oh, put your card in there. Fam, you don't know. It probably still doesn't like connect to any system here at least, but you don't know what's what's been done. Other than, and that's where the speaker is for that as well. So this is just a, a weird walkthrough. I'm in the garage, so let's get moving. I'll find somewhere to park and discuss this thing more as we walk outside. Uh, yeah.
once again, getting to know this, uh, my, my advice to you, you can learn how to read Japanese characters or there's an uh, app on your phone, on any any phone you have is an app that shows you, like you hold up your phone and it like uh, transcribes or gives you the translation of each one of these symbols so it'll help you more. But I kind of get, I've been getting the hang of it. I kind of, they have the fan so you kind of know that increases the speed and you kind of know the default, default source for the, the windshield and I think, I think this covers both the front end. I think this covers the back window. And then I forgot which one is the options on it. I don't know, man. I don't use it that I don't really don't drive this car in like the cold, so I don't really use it that like fall will be I'll probably use it now in the fall. And I, I it won't touch snow. Cause I hopefully I'm out of here by then. But in the, in the meantime, it usually stays in the garage. I put cardboard under it. Um and maybe jack stands if it sits. But once I get out to Vegas, I'm gonna drive it. That's what I bought the car for to drive and enjoy it. At the same time, I, I also bought the car not to get smashed and get rear-ended. But yeah, the car comes with five. So another thing, five by sevens all the way around. Some people can mod, um, you know, modify the the rear because it's it's not a it's, it's a deep mount, so you can put six by fives in there and get you a little bit more kick out of it. Uh, but it's five by sevens if you have a 92, 93, 94 Nissan Cedric or Gloria. Which basically are the same cars, except for one hat. You know, it's a little bit. All right, it's a little different. The, the bumper on the Glory is a little different, and also this. I want to say, yeah, the trunk and the bumper uh, a little bit different on my '92 than it is on my '94. Uh, but otherwise, same same dash configuration because it's not a Broham, so I don't have the digital with everything going on. I think some of the Altimas, the uh, turbos, do have digitals, but it depends on what year you catch them in with the four with the four headlights, the quad lights. The Broham comes with singles, um, two single big, uh, almost like the SEMA. They're cool too. I love them. Uh, I follow a bunch of people on Instagram that have the, uh, well, not a bunch, just one, no, two, two people to have the Brohams. Otherwise, they're, they're good cars. But let me get my butt out of here. I think I hear a garbage truck coming. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'll holler at y'all a little bit. I was like, I want them to box me in.